Yo, what's going on guys? Henry the Blation here and welcome back to another episode of the No Money Spend series. Now jumping into episode 10 of our Broke Adventures. And my fellow broke ladies and gentlemen, how we all doing, man? NBA playoffs started this weekend. Easter also started this weekend. And I know that when it comes to holidays, sometimes people do feel alone because, you know, not everybody just has family to go home to when it comes to these times. So I hope all of you guys are doing okay. Let me know in the comments how y'all are holding up mentally. At the end of the day, man, remember y'all are not alone. You got the HTV family until the end, man. I promise you all that. But again, all around, man, I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. And if not, man, there's still so much to look forward to so make the best of it but boys and girls we have been making the best of this weekend this is probably the most amount of offline grinding i have ever done since the game came out when i was grinding domination i've been grinding out on my main account like crazy when i did a 100 pack video and now here we are on the no money spent and boy do i have a surprise for you guys but of course 2k decides to come through for us not only with this easter egg event but we also got a free locker code now as always guys if you are new to the channel please consider hitting that subscribe button man we're on that grind to 400k y'all been going crazy with it the last couple months thank you very much for that and y'all know if we manage to get 3,000 likes on this video i got y'all with the next episode as soon as possible but this episode specifically man i'm super hyped about it mainly because it finally happened now right now you guys have no idea what i'm talking about but in about two minutes you guys are about to see why and it was just such a dub but this right here is the locker code happy easter for my team and this is gonna guarantee you nope. a free galaxy opal oh i punched it in wrong it's not happy it's hoppy so 2k was trying to get all punny on me hoppy easter for my team l pun l joke but w locker code at the end of the day because uh like i said man it's gonna be a free galaxy opal now most of you guys know this guy is probably not gonna be going for any mt in fact if i check the auction house right now he's probably the cheapest galaxy opal in the game but i'm not gonna complain about a free locker code i think at the end of the day it honestly should have been like a dark matter dennis rodman locker code Everyone got a free one that wasn't auctionable because he wouldn't be the most op card yet people would be super happy about it at the end of the day but uh 2k you guys do what you want i'm not going to be complaining about it but as you guys know man i've been playing the living life out of this triple threat mode we had like zero wins in the last episode now we're sitting at like 56 wins i've been trying to go crazy the gold exchange the two exchanges whatever it's gonna be we've been putting in the work and you guys can see here in the unopened packs um we have about 56 packs to open. Now, it's not a bunch of eggs, but it's still quite a few. Now, as you guys can see here, I've been grinding. I got a bunch of egg hunt packs, got a little award. But as we kept going and as we kept playing triple threat, ladies and gentlemen, it finally happened. Because when I keep going all the way to the right, y'all will see that we actually ended up securing our very first free dark matter in season six dark matter richard dumas baby now what's actually crazy about this is i thought i was gonna get this on my main account first because on my main account i played over 150 triple threat offline games did not even see this man on the no money spent of course the 2k gods are gonna come through and bless us i'm so excited because that's another free elite card that we get to add on to our team but of course we're gonna kick things off man by opening these egg hunt packs mainly because uh the event is about to expire in about half an hour so we'll get to maybe get one fan favorite pack one of everything because they do reset every hour so this is our final chance to get anything if we can the only thing that can possibly make this episode any crazier is if we get some kind of dark matter player out of one of these exchanges and at that point man 2k got it i will just praise 2k for the rest of the year no matter what kind of content we end up getting if i can pull some kind of dark matter zion or lebron out of one of these bad boys actually no let me not speak too soon i'm not gonna sell my soul to 2k like that that's a dangerous game to play but uh yeah man let me know in the comments man were you guys grinding out the easter mode because in my opinion this was one of the best events if not the best event we've gotten so far in my team this year as we get a little golden egg exchange man you love to see it we're definitely gonna trade that bad boy in 
But yeah, man, definitely a lot happening this weekend. Now, the grinding definitely wasn't a bore, mainly because, of, ooh, a little silver brick wall. We know that badge definitely goes for a bit, but the NBA playoffs were happening this weekend. So the fact that I just got to watch basketball and grind out offline modes made it nice and brainless for me. I didn't really have to think about anything, and it was all a vibe. Little exchange pack and a silver clamps. You definitely love to see it. I might as well go for that diamond shoe, because... I'm definitely going to have enough to get another fan favorites pack and probably another gold exchange there, which should hopefully help us secure the two little Hall of Fame badges because I don't think I've picked up either of them yet. I went for the Galaxy Opal last episode, so we're going to have to make sure we can cash out on all those things before this event ends here pretty soon. But again, man, all around the event was a dub. I feel like the only way you can really call it an L is if you're pessimistic, we get another gold one. I opened a hundred packs on my main account and didn't see one gold one and just like that we're already seeing two on the no money spent. Hey, I'm not gonna lie, I'll go for the Hall of Fame badges and then we'll secure that diamond contract last, but it looks like we're gonna be walking away with everything here today, man. Th that's such a dub. One card I've been using a lot while I was grinding is the Galaxy Opal Jonathan Isaac because it gives me all the fan favorites points and stuff like that, but... Now we got more and more Hall of Fame badges that we're going to be able to put on players, eventually sell, and hopefully make a ton of MT. But man, I can't... Ooh, little Amethyst. Okay, little Scotty Pippen. That's not the worst. I'll take it. But I do wish you could almost pull a Hall of Fame badge out of these, but then that'd be too OP. People would be grinding the living life out of this. I'm not even sure if that's possible. If it is, y'all let me know in the comments because... The fact that badges are in here in general, and if you can pull a Dark Matter player, why can't you pull a Hall of Fame badge? So, I guess we'll see. Yeah, man, being able to secure our second Dark Matter for the cost of absolutely zero dollars has definitely been amazing. I'm going for that fan favorites pack, man. We might be able to get a Dark Matter Durant out of that at this point, man. We're already off to a really good start here on the No Money Spent, and we haven't really been doing anything. Let me know in the comments as well if you guys have picked up any new cards. I know we already talked about the new cards in the last episode, but maybe y'all changed your mind. One card I might have changed my mind about is going to be that Pink Diamond Alex Caruso. I was using him on my main account because I was grinding out XP and he's definitely not bad for a budget player. He's got a nice jumper, a little nice behind the back animation, but again, at the end of the day, it's just so hard to beat Galaxy Opal Oscar because his jumper is so nice. And he defends better too. He's a little bit taller. I will say Caruso's behind the back is much better, but how much better can it be when you're standing at 6'5 at the end of the day? Little fan favorites pack there secured. We're sitting on so many contracts, man. I probably should open the Richard Dumas pack after this. That way I can at least put some contracts on him. Because then I won't feel obligated to have to put my diamond contract on him right away. Because I'm not really struggling as far as contracts go right now on the no money spent. So you know what? Let's go ahead and let's go for the full experience right now, man. Y'all ready? For the first time in a few episodes, we just secured Vince Carter. But why not bring another shooting guard small forward into the mix, man? Y'all see the HT broke name in the background so you know it's 1 million percent legit. Let's go ahead, let's flip this bad boy over. 2K, please don't take my experience away from me, thank you. Usually whenever I get hyped, it goes into that black screen and we miss this whole animation. But there he is, man. From the Phoenix Suns, we're gonna call this man Bootleg Charles Barkley because he's not actually in the game. 99 overall, Dark Matter, Richard Dumas. Thank goodness he plays that small forward spot because that's likely where we're gonna have to put him because we got that Vince Carter. He might have to play shooting guard off the bench too because he could definitely be tough there. We'll take a look at his animations later on and what the jumper is looking like and everything because again, I don't even have him on my main account so I don't really know what that card is playing like yet. Got ourselves yet another exchange pack right here. I'm just gonna go for that dynamic ratings pack because uh, what else are we gonna use it towards at this point? I know we'll be able to use it towards another 10 tokens so Honestly, if you were someone that was looking to collect tokens to eventually get a free Dark Matter from the token market, you could have done that if you were grinding the game hard enough. For me, again, I wanted to balance it out and I was grinding on my main account as well, mainly because I wanted to get that, you know, 100 pack video out of the way, but I, I don't regret any of it. That should have been 10 tokens that we just secured. The animation just has not shown yet, but Galaxy Opal Jonathan Isaac, card's been a dog. I still do not regret picking him up whatsoever. And the crazy thing is, he's probably dropped in price over the weekend. I'm trying to fly through as many of these as possible. It's sad that I didn't get to see any Dark Matters or Galaxy Opals on any of my budget accounts or my main account, but it is what it is. Richard Dumas, I do need to check how tall he is because 
if he's only like six foot six i think he's gonna have to be a shooting guard off the bench mainly because i like a tall small forward like the jonathan isaac he's so cheesy at the three that you just can't avoid that that bronze rim protector is gonna be wonderful because i don't know if that richard card has it but again man beautiful amazing weekend here for an event whether you're a no money spent player or a player that spends money okay so just to quickly check he is standing at six foot seven so he can maybe play the three but I, th I still think he's gonna be so much better at the two how many more of these packs do we got we we got a lot more than i actually thought i guess we ended up collecting quite a few keep loading up richard dumas with those contracts because again just because we have diamond contracts doesn't mean we necessarily have to use them i'll use them if i need to because i don't want to spend mt but we're sitting on so many contracts right now on the no money spent like look at all these the reason i'm not opening those up is because i don't want to have to put them on a player if i don't need to right now and the fact that i play clutch time means i use even less contracts so that works out really well for me we only need one more here and we got ourselves the final golden egg of the easter events which again has just been great flip her over we got another ruby player mohammed bamba little christmas easter vibe mix there hey that's not too bad that's gonna give us our final golden egg here, which means every other exchange moving forward, we're gonna have to quick sell for that 500 MT, but yo, big, big, big dubs to 2K, man, big dubs. Man, I collected so many of these packs. I think I'm just gonna fly through them, and if I see anything special, I'll let y'all know, but sheesh, I've got so many to go still. Final exchange egg right here, and unfortunately, no Dark Matter Zion for us, but we're gonna sell yet another exchange egg there, and now we're sitting at 110k. Galaxy Opal Dennis Rodman, might as well go ahead and welcome this card to the club. Now, usually, I would go ahead and sell this card right away, but since he's going for such a low value anyways, I'm gonna hold on to him. Some of you guys might be wondering why, and here's the thing, the Bulls are currently in the playoffs. If we end up getting some kind of playoff moments challenges where you need a Bulls player, suddenly this man is gonna go back up in price, so I'm gonna wait at least until the first round is over, and then the Bulls either win or lose. Then we'll see what happens, but Right now, I got no really exact reason to go ahead and sell it. Another little diamond colorway shoe pack right here. It's gonna be Zoom Freak ones. Ooh, some Giannis's, okay. Little onto the Kumpos. Those actually don't look too bad. I, I don't mind that. I'm gonna open this fan favorites pack. 2K gods, please bless me with someone from the actual set. Don't be some dynamic ratings card. We're not even seeing a single shake and that's what that one's gonna be an L in the chat, boys. On the bright side, man, we are guaranteed this Hall of Fame badge, limitless takeoff, so that's gonna be nice. And we've got this other golden egg right here, which we can use towards the other Hall of Fame badge. And then our final golden egg is gonna be sitting in our collection, and then I can use that one towards a diamond contract. I'm assuming diamond contracts are just so cheap at this point because I think you get them for beating the sapphire tier in unlimited as well so they really just be flying i'm gonna go to the exchange right here uh diamond contract golden egg go ahead and lock that in i really don't care about locking in for the 50 tokens that's gonna be whatever but that right there that's gonna be one to keep all right man so now we can quickly jump into freestyle because i want to see what this richard dumas is like i like the hot zones can he dribble okay he's got a little burst that's nice. Does he have the Scotty Pippen behind the back? It's not the Scotty, so for that reason, I can tell y'all Vince Carter is still the better card. So if you guys grinded for him, congratulations. He wasn't a waste. That jumper is nice, though. Okay. Yeah, I definitely like that jumper. I might be using him at the three here when we go play clutch time later. Y'all know I love my boy Trey Murphy, but at some point, we've got to try out some of these newer players. And I'm really liking that jumper a lot. I really wish Vince Carter could play the one because... Then I just run Vince and Dumas and we could be an elite no money spent crew, but now nah, that jumper is definitely valid. So a quick look at the card, 88 three ball, that doesn't bother me because with the coach that goes insanely high, 95 driving dunk, good ball handling, very good defense. I do wish the perimeter was a little bit higher, but great rebounding, oh my. Solid speed and speed with ball. 27 Hall of Fame badges, I'm assuming, yes, because that's what Dark Matters get this season. 36 gold. I mean, wow, Intimidator, Interceptor, Posterizer, Pogo Stick, Handles for Days, Quick First Step, yo! This card is ju- what badges is he even missing technically? So he needs Deadeye, he doesn't have Limitless Spot Up, I'm gonna have to snipe those badges probably by next episode and give them to him. Mismatch Expert wouldn't hurt, Quick Chain as well, Brick Wall is a must because it makes all cards OP, but 
It seems like he's got a lot of the great badges that I already need. Limitless spot up and dead eye are really the only must haves that I need right away. I can live without brick wall. He's got the gold sniper all around. Again, he's a free card. Budget Charles Barkley here is a dub. I don't have any brick walls, but I will give him box. Can I upgrade any of these? I think I have a li silver limitless spot up. It turns out I don't. Okay, so I don't have any of those, but hey, that's a pretty good start. But now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for me to redeem myself. I'm hopping back into current gen, and today's episode, I'm definitely getting a snipe. I'm not walking out of here today unless I get a snipe. Last episode, we didn't get the snipes we wanted. Today, we're going crazy. All right, baby, here we are in the current gen streets, and the man I need to eventually snipe. I know I've already got him on my team, but... I need to use him as a method of making MT, and that's Jonathan Isaac. My question is, has he dropped in price? Because if he has, we need to snipe one to make up for the fact that we overpaid in the last episode. So, it doesn't look like he's gone down in price. If anything, I feel like he's gone up because I did make a video on this card. He's not under 30k, so that's automatically a good thing. He's about 31k. We paid about 33k, so not exactly the biggest loss. But at the end of the day, people are still posting this card like crazy so we're gonna sit on this filter i'm gonna go grab a charger for my controller because if a controller dies mid snipe i will probably put my head through a monitor okay bro am i just cursed to never see jonathan isaac again just like last episode we're here sitting on the filter and it's not even like it's a crazy one 29,950, and nothing is going up maybe it's the fact that it's late at night but at the same time man i'm just not seeing the card like missing the snipe is one thing not seeing the card in general is something else D do i have to go back to next gen so i'm just gonna go ahead and assume that the fan favorites filters right now are just way too hot because of the newest thing so i'm gonna go one week behind i'm gonna go back to zero gravity and see if this filter works the jalen brown the one where we couldn't get anything either when those packs were out and it looks like he's actually gone up in price now we should be able to sit on a filter for a while here and something should pop up 25k is the cheapest one that's actually crazy. I think this card has potential to go up in price because the fact that he's in the playoffs right now, if he has some kind of thing happen where you need to score the Jalen Brown card, boom, just like that price spike. Oh, 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 let's go. 8,000 snipe on Jalen Brown. Okay, maybe the filters aren't broken. Maybe current gen is still the wave. I was literally two minutes away from just loading up next gen and seeing if something else would happen. 8,000 MT for Jalen Brown? I can mess with that. Thank you. Whoa, 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 let's go! Little 17,000, definitely not as good as the 8,000 MT, but okay, 2K gods. Now y'all starting to bless me. I'm gonna sit on this filter a bit more. If nothing else pops up, we're gonna cycle to something else, but hey, little Jalen Browns are flying today. Oh, 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 whoa, oh my gosh, oh my flipping pancakes, 39.50, yes sir, oh my gosh, three Jalen Browns, man, y'all can go sit on that Jonathan Isaac filter, that's fine, bro, I, I still want to go, okay, the thing is, I need to snipe one Jonathan Isaac in my life or I won't be satisfied. I'm still surprised that people are grading cards in this game. Grading cards was cool to start the year and they used to look nice when you had like a 10, but, but now they just look so inconvenient. I don't know if you guys still grade your cards, if y'all still like that whole design of everything, but I don't think it's the craziest. Since he's going for about 25,000 MT, I'm gonna undercut just a little bit. I'll go a little bit over on this one, 23,650, and hopefully these all sell. I'm going to leave the starting bit at the bottom just in case, actually, because if I get undercut and I don't make MT, that's going to suck. But, yo, th the fact that we got two of them for under 10,000 MT is kind of nuts, though. That's got to be someone that was just quick selling stuff. 
I refuse to believe that that many snipes would pop up like that, but again, I'm just gonna count my blessings. Jonathan Isaac, I need to see one of you. I don't even care if I miss the snipe. I just need to show people that I'm like that if I actually see the card. Now, even though 29,000 wasn't working for me, if I got one for 29,000 anyways, that wasn't really making a profit. Minimum, I need to get one for 25K. Cause if I sell it back for 31K minus the tax, I really only make like 3000 MT off that, but I gotta show y'all that I can snipe, man. So Jonathan Isaac, come through, come through. Bro, am I just banned from the Jonathan Isaac filter? Like, why can't I see this card? I've been searching for so long and just nothing pops. Oh, oh, oh! Is it stuck? It's stuck! It's stuck! Let's go! It was stuck! As I'm talking, something finally pops up. I really thought I was just somehow shadow banned from looking up Jonathan Isaac. Did y'all see how my screen froze for a second? That gave me PTSD of 2K19, man. If y'all watch my 2K19 No Money Spent, back when that was probably my prime of sniping, I'd get 500 buyouts, but now everybody's a sniper and it's too easy. But yo, before things used to load and you would never know if you got anything until it was too late. I sniped one, man. I feel better. It's not as good as a snipe as the Jalen Brown, but I sniped. Why is the game so slow now? I posted him up for 30,000 MT, so hopefully he should have sold by the time we load up next gen right here, but okay, that was, that was a pretty good sniping session. I think on the next episode, I'm going to try to snipe my first Dark Matter on the No Money Spent. The easiest filter I can think of right now is probably the Dunktober Jokic one because he's not in the same filter as the fan favorites, yet he's also the cheapest Dark Matter to come out this weekend, so he's likely gonna be the easiest candidate for sniping. Porzingis and Kevin Durant, I can't even imagine how many people are just hawking that filter, just waiting for their opportunity to finally see one. It looks like none of my auctions have ended sin since, and it really, it is what it is. And at this point, man, I'm ready to jump into some more clutch time. So y'all can see that the event is now officially over again. They're now advertising the clutch time mode, and it is what it is, man. But we have been rocking it out on clutch time. Yo, my internet is being slow. I don't know how many games we're going to be able to play if it's bugging like this. As much as I love the budget messiah, we do have to show Richard Dumas a little bit of love. I mean, th this is a nasty lineup for no money spent. The only place I really want to upgrade is Eddie Curry, but I don't want to go out and buy Galaxy Opal David Robinson just yet. I'm going to wait to see what cards come out in packs this week, mainly because we got a symbol R. We didn't get a solid budget center whatsoever, so I'm expecting 2K to come through with something hot pretty soon. But uh, while we wait for our auctions to sell, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into some clutch time because now we're going after James Worthy and that Albert King. This guy's name looks familiar. Oh, there's no way he's already gone into a full court press you're, you're sad for that hold that screen real quick thank you and go all the way to the basket eddie come on you're bigger than zach go there go ahead and put it down got ourselves a tie game definitely going to be looking for richard throughout the night see how that goes good defense oh i got to play better defense this guy's pushing the pace i love a good old full court press in clutch time yo pb i just want to let you know if you watch my videos you're a certified bum hold that behind the back yes sir we gone all the way through hey yo all right let me lock in and let's win this game Good defense there by the squad. We got the rebound. Richard Dumas, I'm looking for you, baby. There we go. Where we running? Eddie in the corner. Dimer me, mama. Give me all three of those. Your full court press doesn't work if you don't score. Good defense. We got him boxed up. Come on, man. Hit that screen. We getting up that court as quick as possible. Jonathan Isaac, I got you all the way through. Hey, the double clutch. You're doing a little too much here for clutch time, but I'm going to let it slide. Good defense, that's our ball. Lock him up. Put that Hakeem Olajuwon in prison. One of my favorite centers of all time, but right now we gotta play defense, yeah. Bring that full court press here, I'm not worried about it. See, now you know you gotta back up because I'm cooking it. Come on, man. Stash back, thank you. Hit that screen, stopping. Vince Carter, easy moving three. Give me those! Yeah! Get up the court, baby. Isaac, I know you got me. Thank you, stopping. Easy three. I knew you were looking at Oscar Robertson. I told you this full court press isn't going to work. Get up the court, man. Snatch back. Yes, sir. Easy blow by. All the way. Inside to Eddie. Dot the corner. Jonathan, dimer me, mama. What's wrong, buddy? 
I thought you had a very elite defense for clutch time. Show it to me. Look at Richard. Look at Richard Dumas, the dog. I don't care if it's still his ball. This card is so good on defense. Get him out. Get him out, ladies and gentlemen. I was just waiting for him to rage quit. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I hit a jump shot and I paused on him. I simply got to do it, man. That's how it is in these streets. I know some of you guys always tell me in the comments, full court press is the best way to play defense in clutch time. And yes, while it is, it's so toxic. If you have court press, I get it. But full court pressing should be taken out of clutch time as a whole. Now, I'm not going to lie. Obviously, I've done it before as well. But... Man, it's just not a fun thing to play against. I'm going to be honest. It makes things a little too easy. Was hoping to get a diamond consumable there, but I'll take 400 MT. You know we got to play our usual five games here. Have any of our auctions sold? Man, 2K servers are slow today. All three of them have officially sold now. Jalen Brown, these redemptions are slow. 2K servers, what is going on? Jonathan Isaac, we made like, what, 5K MT off that? So not the craziest snipe, but hey. We're sitting at 150,000 MT. I'm a happy camper. Okay, so this guy's got Matt Calvin as well. Is this the same person? No, he's got Richard Dumas, but he's also got dynamic ratings LeBron. This is a very confusing team. Why does everyone have Matt Calvin? Is he easy to get? Do I have to go for him? Ball's up in the air though, and it's time to get busy. Richard Dumas, I'm gonna try to get you open, but the shot button was not working when I was using you. Little crossover stopping. Easy pull up, that's a green. Yeah, this card's gonna be good. He was definitely a defensive dog in game one. Yo, this guy's playing tough defense. Cross him up, thank you. Moving three, that's Vince Carter for you, baby. Still the best free dark matter in the game. Get there, good defense there. I thought we were about to block that into the basket. Start running, in the corner, Richard Dumas. Dimer me, mama. Oh no, nah, this card's playing nice. I will say though, the 2K servers are bugging right now. There's times where my buttons just aren't working. Good. Yo, Jonathan Isaac is a defensive god. I've said it, okay? Vince in the corner. That's an easy three. Not enough of a contest there. That's going down, man. David Thompson is too short. Good defense. Good defense. Switch on that. Look at the defense. Get there. Oh, my good. Yo, Richard. This whole team is full of defenders. It's crazy. Thank you. Easy four-pointer, not a green. But it's a bucket. We're up 16 to two. This Jonathan Isaac puts everybody he plays against in prison. It's honestly crazy. Hit that screen. I'm pulling from way downtown. That's a foul. He might be out of here on that note. And indeed he is. I'm surprised he didn't leave earlier, but yo, the team is rolling right now. Albert King, man, I need you to be mine. I don't know what the secret algorithm is. Oh, I thought that was gonna be the one. I'm not even getting close to him. That's the crazy thing. In previous seasons, I'd get within range, but I just would never get the card. But in this case, there's like no chance whatsoever. Let's not accidentally use a diamond contract on Eddie Curry. Three more games here, man. Let's keep it rolling. Okay, we got Kyrie Irving, Dwayne Wade, Scotty Barnes, DeRozan duo. He's got dark matter, Scotty Barnes. Man, I hope Scotty heals up. I'm so mad Joel Embiid injured him, but obviously he didn't do it on purpose. Either way, though, let's lock in here, boys. Oh, we got the steal already. So definitely not off to our best start here. He's just kind of sitting in the corner on one player, and that's fine, because guess what? Off-ball deodorant. Now you're going to have to guard somebody, because my boy Richard is here to play, man. He's actually not doing bad at small forward, because we got Jonathan Isaac at the four. Fine that way. A little behind the back. See you later, Wade. All the way through. Hey! Oh, my goodness. Vince Carter with that vertical. Man does not play around. This guy's scoring on me on ways that don't make sense. Hit that screen. Thank you. Yes, sir. Easy blow by Vince. Get down there. He's going to jump. Easy dunk. Standing dunk. Hey, man, go for it. We got to get a stop here, though. I need you to slip the screen. Slip the screen. Thank you. All the way through. Get down there. Dwayne Wade's too small. Hey, and one. Dumas with a big boy bucket. Good defense. Good defense. Keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Get there. Oh, my goodness. We cannot be leaving people open here, guys. It is way too close of a game. Can I get a screen here? Eddie, I need it soon. Thank you, hit that. That's a terrible roll. Dot that corner, Richard Dumas is open, and that's going down. Throw that in here. Good defense, finally. We got him, man. Where's it going? Richard, nail in the coffin. That's going down, and even though there's a minute 30 left, I'm simply not giving up this lead. I'm seeing a five second violation. This guy might have surrendered to the broke boys club. The dynamic duo of Scotty and DeRozan, unfortunately, was not enough. We're walking away with a win. If I can get this Albert King, I'll literally never have to buy a shooting guard on my team for a good minute. So I need to get him. Please, 2K. Bro, can I at least land in one of, like, the good slots? Th that would be lovely. 
But uh, we gotta keep it rolling here. One more game here where we get to spin the wheel. And then the final one is gonna be 25 tokens. All right, man, jumping into game number three here. He's got this Galaxy Opal Trey Young. It's not the Dark Matter free one, so I'm not too concerned. Don't throw it inside. I thought that was an easy steal there for Eddie Curry, but I'm gonna let it slide, man. Off ball deodorant works so well in the last game from the four point line. Only with gold limitless spot up and it works well. He's trying to push the pace like crazy up the court, but that usually doesn't work out too well for people. Get to the corner there, Oscar. Thank you, man. My players don't want to play defense today. Jared Allen, the defensive or rebounding monster, sorry. Bro, none of my buttons are working. Richard Dumas getting open for threes consistently tonight. He's got that Kawhi Leonard, but he hasn't been a problem. Go to my boy Richard. I just need one good screen. Oh, he's flopping. He might be out of here. Boom. Swing it to the corner. Jonathan Isaac. Give him, wave him goodbye. Wave him goodbye. Another opponent has left the match. All right, man. Let's spin that bad boy up. Albert King. <sighs> We're getting closer and closer, man. I got to find some kind of wheel technique. Y'all got to let me know in the comments. What have you guys been doing to get closer to it? But uh, this next game right here, it's not going to be for the wheel. It's gonna be for the 25 tokens and then we're on to tier number three and i think for this one we get another player and then for the 40 wins we get that hall of fame clutch shooter again okay so ralph Sampson making an appearance here with vince carter dwayne wade rudy gay and that bradley beal from triple threat i should probably go get that card i've heard it's fire good defense we saw that come on we read those pick and rolls like a book in transition dot the corner vince sanity dimer me mama Get there! Good defense there! It's not going down. We got the board. Come on, boys. Let's get up the court. I see Richard. Wide open in the corner. Pump fake. Jonathan Dimes! Beautiful extra pass on the offensive end. I love this team, guys. Nice that. Thank you. Burst out of that. Yes, sir. Vince Carter. That's an easy three. I know you don't miss those. Not wide open. Lock it up big. Oh, yeah! Stay in front of him. Good defense, boys. Yes, sir! I'm running in transition. Come on, we out. Let me go to Oscar. Dumas, I see you in the corner, and so did he. Pump fake. I try to take that baseline. He does not give it to me. Finesse that screen. Cross it up. Thank you. See you later. Vincey, you know what to do, man. You know what to do. That's an easy rebound. Vince Carter, I need you to put the nail in the coffin. Give me a little iso here. One behind the back. That's all it takes, man. Stepping back. Yes, sir. Easy mid-range. Easy bucket. Cross him up. Thank you, man. Snatch back. Got him, man. Snatch back. I'm pulling that. Vince Carter! The GOATS! 25 tokens just like that have been secured. Now we're on our way to get a diamond consumables pack. I'm really hoping we actually get this Albert King, but if not, man, I'm not too upset. We got one of the RNG cards already in that Richard Dumas. Let me know in the comments, guys. Should I grind for this Bradley Beal? He might be a fun little dark matter to have at that point guard spot. I know for the draft mode, I think it's that Matt Calvin card. And if that's the case, he is just way too small. Like, I'd rather play clutch time. I probably eventually want to get into unlimited because I want that Bob Nedelicki. That, that card is a dog. But uh, yeah, man, good way to finish off the episode. Got another Raptors uniform to kind of add to our swagger here. So I'm happy there. But uh, yeah, man, that's going to do it for today's episode. We made some MT, opened a ton of packs, got a free Dark Matter and free Galaxy Opal. I'm probably going to end up clearing my collection here and selling a bunch of things that I don't need. We'll see what the outcomes are looking like in the next episode. But uh, yeah, man. Thank you guys for tuning into episode 10 of the series. I hope you guys are enjoying season two so far. If you are, don't forget to leave a like. And for you new viewers, you know you gotta hit that subscribe button, man. 400K on the way soon. The grind continues. I love y'all, man. Take care.